is an author and he's also been featured on Show, Showtime Network. If you could please put your hands together nice and loud for Mr. John Knight. Almost done with my Christmas shopping. <laughs> Couple more days. I'm glad the holidays are over. I, I never get good gifts. I never know what to give people. Best gift though, it was my mother's birthday last week. And my sister comes up and says, we gotta do something special for mom for her birthday. Let, let's give her something she's not expecting. So we put her in the home. <laughs> She wasn't expecting that. That was a big surprise. <laughs> but she's crying all week. I hear people go, oh, do, do you want her? <laughs> I'll bring her over. <laughs> now, mom's all right. Mom's 81. She's doing good. But I, I feel fine. Nothing's bothering me. But my wife wants me to go to the doctor, have him look around to see if he can find things. <laughs> Let him check you out. Maybe you got something. <laughs> Not easy stuff. This is what she says. She says, you're at the age, you have to get your prostate checked. And, and while you're there, you might as well get a colonoscopy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I might as well. Yeah, the doctor could spend the whole day up there. Sounds like a pleasant afternoon. <laughs> Now, cause she was talking about the colonoscopy, but I, I didn't know what to expect, right? I go in there and they pull out, it's like a hose or a tube looking thing, but, but it's a camera, right? It's a camera and, and they put it up there. Way up there. <laughs> oh yeah, it turns out I had a cavity. <laughs> These things we're having done, it's called preventive medicine. They're trying to find things before they turn into a major problem so we live longer. I read this, I'm not making this up. Medical science claims by the end of this century, we could live, guess how old they said? They said 200 years old is possible. Do we need 200 year old people? I mean, you think traffic sucks now, right? <laughs> you won't be able to get near Florida. <laughs> As you live to 200, you have to think about some things like, when would you retire? Are you going to retire at 65 and hang on for 135 years? You better have a damn good 401k going. Because what happens? You're broke. 155. Your parents won't let you move back home. <laughs> now you can't even work as one of those Walmart greeters. Is there no Walmart here? Yeah. There has to be, right? How far from your house? How far? Six miles, so like five minutes. You have to live within five minutes. That's the rule, where they make you move. <laughs> Seriously, where I lived, there was one five minutes this way, and there was five, mi five minutes the other direction, there's another Walmart, they put one right in the middle. I could go to Walmart on my way to Walmart if I wanted to. <laughs> I was in Australia a couple years ago. Well, I, was, I was performing on a cruise, and it was all Australian people, and I started talking about Walmart, right? And, and one of the women got snooty, because there's no Walmart. She goes, we don't have Walmart in Australia. Talk about something else. We don't have Walmart in Australia. So I was curious. I said, well, in Australia, where do fat women in halter top shop for their underwear? <laughs> No place for them to go. Now you know if you've been to Walmart, you've seen that. You, you ever gone to Walmart after midnight? Well, let's get a bus and go after the show. It's like a freak show. People just climb out of bed. I need some shit. They don't even get dressed. People in pajamas, and not nice pajamas. You would think you're going to Walmart at midnight, I'm gonna put on my good pajamas, right? <laughs> I go in there, there's 
people, they got holes, things hanging out. Some guy was trying to grab peaches, some guy had his plums hanging over them. <laughs> Now, all the stores do it now, but Walmart was the first ones that came up with this idea. They, they were the first that said, you know what? We really don't need cashiers anymore. Let's let these assholes check themselves. <laughs> the only time I get at self-checkout is when it's necessary, because every time I do it, I, I get aggravated, I, I get... I just want to hurt somebody. There's always something that pisses me off, right? The last time I did it was one of these days where it's going to snow three inches. Now, you guys up here, do you get bothered? Because I live down near Pittsburgh. Three inches of snow. We, everyone has to go the day before the snow. We have to go clear out the grocery stores. You know, you might not get out of your house until 10 a.m. the next day. <laughs> So people go and have to buy, you know, milk, eggs, bread, and toilet paper. Need those poor things for a snowstorm. I don't know why, right? <laughs> but I was in Buffalo. I was in Buffalo two months ago, and I started talking about this, and the guy says, three inches of snow? You guys panic? He says, we had seven feet of snow in one day a couple years ago. Seven feet of snow one day. That, that's a lot of snow. I mean, when you're watching the weather, and the weatherman says, if you're six foot eleven or shorter, <laughs> we advise you to stay indoors today. That's, that's a big snow, right? But yeah, you need your milk, eggs, bread, and toilet paper. Those are the four things necessary for a snowstorm. Why, why is that? What, what, what people just sit there and say, yeah, I don't care, let it snow. I'll eat an egg sandwich, drink milk, and shit. I don't care. <laughs> I might eat an egg sandwich on the toilet. I'll just sit right there, I'll eat my egg sandwich, drink some milk. I don't know, I'll sit there all day. I got 144 rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> But I go in there that day, right? I go in and it's the day before the snow and the lines in the grocery store are packed, you know, it lined up, lined up, <laughs> except the self-checkout. Self-checkout, one guy, <coughs> couple items. So I get behind him, first item he goes to scan, grapes, right? And the grapes won't scan. How many times do you try before you give up? <laughs> or maybe five swipes, right? Not this guy, that was like 29, <laughs> 30. <laughs> I backed away because I was afraid he might get a friction fire start, right? <laughs> then he put the grapes back in the cart. He says, well, let's give another item a shot. And the next item scanned, and one after that, and he got all those items through, and then he went back and he grabbed the grapes. Because probably they just need to rest for a while. <laughs> Little time on the cart, that'll solve the problem. <laughs> And it does it like another 15 tries. Finally, it's sinking in. It's not going to scan. So now he's on the screen, and he's trying to find it under the produce items, right? I look up. He's nowhere near grapes. He's not going to find it on his own. So that's when I tried to help. I said, why don't you hit R? He said, why R? I said, because there are probably going to be raisins by the time we get to this stupid store. <laughs> 